Hello and welcome to another SonicWall video tutorial. My name is MG Sriramaya, Security Engineering Escalation Group SonicWall. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic configuration of SonicWall content filtering service. So we will be going through configuring the default policy, configuring the allowed and forbidden domains, excluding an IP address from CFS enforcement, enforcing CFS and zones and testing. I am logged into the SonicWall management interface. Here on the license page, you can see CFS is licensed under Comprehensive Gateway Security Suite. Now let's go to the content filter page under Security Services. Here, click on Configure. Enable the checkbox under Enable HTTPS Content Filtering, so websites accessed over HTTPS can be blocked. Enabling CFS server failover will allow SonicWall to failover to a secondary CFS server if the primary server fails. We can leave the remaining options with default settings. Click on the Policy tab. Click on the Configure button under the Default Policy. Click on the URL List tab. Here we enable the website categories we wish to block. The first 12 categories are already checked. For this video, we will block the email and social networking categories. Click on the Settings tab. Here, we set the source of the custom allowed and forbidden domains list. Since we have only the default policy to configure, let us set it to Global. Click on OK. Here, click on the Custom List tab. This is a global custom list to configure allowed and forbidden domains list. In the URL list, we have blocked the email and social networking categories. Let's allow one website within each category. Under Allow Domains, click on Add. Enter Twitter.com. Click on Add again and enter Mail.Yahoo.com. Let's now block a website within an Allowed category. In the URL list, we have allowed the search engines category. Let's block one website in that category. Under Forbidden Domains, click on Add. Enter Bing.com. Back on the main page of CFS, scroll down to the CFS Exclusion List section. By enabling this option, we can exclude IP addresses from CFS. In the drop-down, select Create an Address Object. Enter the name and other information of the host you want to exclude from CFS. Click on OK to create this object. Click on Accept at the top to save the change. Let's now enforce CFS on the Zones. On the Zones page under Network, click on Configure under the LAN Zone. Enable the checkbox Enforce Content Filtering Service and click on OK. Do the same for the DMZ and WLAN Zones. Let us now test this configuration. I am on a host on the LAN zone of the Sonic Wall. Let us try websites in blocked categories first. We have blocked weapons category, so let's try a website within that category, weaponmasters.com. It has been blocked by CFS and this is the block page. The block page will show the URL of the website blocked, the policy enforcing it. In this case, it's a default policy the IP address of the host accessing the website, and finally the reason for blocking it. In this case, it's due to the category Weapons. Let's try another one, this time from the gambling category, Betfair.com. And it's blocked. We have blocked the social networking category, so let's try Facebook.com. You can see the page has failed. When CFS blocks HTTPS websites, it does not display a block page. Now let's try a website in the email category, mail.google.com. And it too has failed. Now let us try to access twitter.com, which is in the allowed list. And let's try to access mail.yahoo.com. Okay, we can access them both. Let us try bing.com, which is in the forbidden list. And it's blocked. You notice that block reason has changed from category to administrative custom list settings.
This indicates that the site was blocked because it is in the forbidden category list. Let's now test CFS exclusion. You remember we have a host excluded from CFS enforcement and its IP address is 192.168.168.204 and I am logged into that host. Let's try to access websites blocked for others. Facebook.com Mail.google.com and Bing.com and we are able to access them all. When CFS blocks a website, you can see the following messages under Log Monitor. This concludes this video on the basic configuration of SonicWall Content Filtering Service.